Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is a special GameStop video that I'm making for all of you today. If you're not a client of Dirk's Financial, this is not investment advice, this is just commentary. I'm just doing some explainer videos. So if you want investment advice, you need to call or be a client. So this is just fun commentary. So let's not waste any time. But what in the heck is happening? I'm gonna focus on just one thing and one topic only, and that is the market manipulation in the stock market and specifically what people are calling the short squeeze when too many people start betting against the stock and some event happens that makes the stock value start to go up all these people who have been betting against will get a phone call from their broker at fidelity or charles schwab that says hey look you're betting against the stock the stock's going up you now present too much risk to us you need to buy those shares and close that position that is what happened right here that caused that great that great squeeze uh almost three years ago now here we are year to date up uh, 175 percent so far but what in the world is going on it all started um on may 12th um about three weeks ago this guy the roaring kitty keith gill that is the main guy who discovered the gamestop opportunity um, almost four years ago he was the first guy that found it he started on his little youtube channel talking about it posting it on the Reddit Wall Street Bets. Well, after all that happened, this guy, Roaring Kitty, Keith, he had to go to, um, he went in front of US Congress to testify. Uh, you can find those videos online of him testifying. You can find, um, he had lawsuits. He got fired from his old job, all sorts of drama. He went completely radio silent for three years up until May 12th, and all he did was post this. And this caused mayhem across all of the GameStop um, internet community. Um, that was it. That's all he posted. Following this, uh, I'll show you following this. If you look at his Twitter, he just started posting like a lot of these videos and none of these videos said buy, sell, buy. It was just like random memes and stuff, just like videos. And uh, it was Monday through Friday. Monday, it was like every 30 minutes. Uh, uh, Tuesday, it was every 15. Wednesday, it was every, f every five minutes, something along those lines. So people are thinking, what in the heck is going on? Well, um, as we know, the price started shooting up. Um, and, oh, here we go. This is the last month. Now we saw this happen. We saw the price spike from uh, 17 up to uh, 31, a 180 percent jump. And then, <clears throat> what happened right then? GameStop, the executives issued uh, uh, an order to to sell shares to the public and raised another billion. No one's talking about this part. GameStop. 30 days ago, had $1.5 billion of cash on hand, zero debt. They now have over $2 billion of cash on hand, zero debt. So everybody's freaking out. Everybody's looking at this roaring kitty guy. Um, and then the next, okay, so he posts that stuff, those videos, right? But then he posts this, and this is what made people lose their minds. Again, he's been, this guy, Keith, roaring kitty, jumps on Reddit, where he's been silent for three years, and he had posted this, one of his very final posts on Reddit three years ago was a screenshot of his account. And he had turned 50,000 into like 10 or 20 million. I forget the exact number. He posts this screenshot. Look at that. He hasn't sold. First off, people were going nuts because as you look over here, his position, he hasn't sold it in three years. He's held on it for three years. Look in the bottom right. It's now worth 200 million. People lose their minds thinking, wow, you know, looking back here, the last few years, the stock price has been slowly tanking, slowly tanking. Maybe, maybe it was all phony. Maybe people are losing hope. Maybe it was all just a nonsense thing. Da 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 da. And boom, this guy comes in and posts. No, guys, actually, I'm up. He posts another post the next day. He's now up to 289. This guy's account is just GameStop, and it's worth 289 million dollars worth of GameStop. Side note. Sort sellers, they closed, right? That's what the guys on TV said. That's what the news article said. Uh, they all closed their shorts. No, they did not. The SEC back in 2022 did a very thorough investigation of all the drama that happened right here. Oops, sorry. Right here, the SEC investigated all of this. And in the report in 2022, they said, as of this report, most of those shorts have not closed. Some of them did, but many shorts were reopened to push the price down again. Okay, so it's Kevin Malone. This guy's been a big GameStop Twitter account that you follow. Um, he shows here, according to the most recent GameStop 13F filings, all of the top call option sellers combined do not have enough shares to satisfy Roaring Kitty's 12 million shares currently in the money. Now, there are a lot of things in there that are going to confuse a lot of you. Suffice to say, boil it down just to this. The same theory 
that made GameStop explode back here was that a lot of these very greedy Wall Street types that have manipulated the entire economy um, and the stock market for decades have basically um, sold short and bet against the stock with more shares than are even available. So for example, if there's only 100 shares, these guys have basically just written themselves three to 400 shares to keep the price down, down, down. Now this actually, this, uh, this tweet right here got a ton of drama. It went around on the Twitter circles for days. And then finally it actually ended up verifying that yes, in fact, if you look deeply and you look at this, that in fact, there are not enough shares for this guy, Roaring Kitty, for the 12 million shares that he owns at the moment. Now that, hold on, you think that's dumb or whatever, it gets worse. As of today, all this guy, Keith Roaring Kitty, right? All he has to do is sit there and not do anything. Um, his account is now worth 500 million. He has not posted anything since uh, a few days ago when I showed you this. You remember this was at 289? That's now worth 500 million today. So how long will this guy sit? Well, if you look on the left, you'll see that this contract for GameStop expires on June 21st. On June 21st, he's either going to sell all of it between today and June 21st to get his uh, profits, or he's going to actually buy the shares. Those are the only two options. Now, if he sells it and just takes his profit, you'll watch GameStop tank because there'll be such a massive, massive selling pressure. However, in my personal opinion, I think he's going to buy the shares because he seems to be the most activist type investor um, this whole time. He's not shown anything that would let me know or that would let us uh, believe that, oh, he's just trying to do it for the quick money. This seems like more of a, a, a lesson to the Wall Street types. We're currently up 47%, and here's the final development in all of this. This guy, Roaring Kitty, used to do live streams back before he got in a lot of trouble. This morning, which, which, uh, what made GameStop really rocket and pop off this morning was that he scheduled his first live stream to happen tomorrow at 11 a.m. So I'm going to tune in. I'm definitely going to watch it and see. Uh, you guys could too. Just go, uh, go to YouTube and type in Roaring Kitty. You can see it up there. But basically, what in the heck is going on? It looks like, now I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but it looks like this whole thesis over the last couple of years, you know, the many of you that I've talked to over the phone over the years saying, just be patient, just be patient, just be patient. It looks like this is coming true where the stock price is rising so quickly and the billionaire Wall Street hedge fund types do not have enough money to continue pushing it down. Um, and as long as this stock continues to rise and close, the Charles Schwab's, the Fidelities, the JP Morgan's are going to start calling these guys and saying, you guys, you are way, 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 way too risky for us. You need to fix this. Keep in mind, um, I'm going to be selling a small chunk here and there as we continue rising. Um, I'm not going to speculate as to what the price could go to, but I have a feeling it could go much higher than where it is. Um, and, and so, yeah, you guys, I just want to give you a quick update as to what is going on at GameStop. Believe me. When this kind of stuff is happening, I'm not getting much else done in the office, so I'm watching this very closely. That's all I've got for you right now, guys. Call me if you want to. I just want to give you a quick update because things are getting kind of crazy. So take care. Thanks.